Handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.8, number 33. And here we were asked to get an exponential model to this data. And we were asked to do, um, to get this model in base E. And so the trickier part here is that when you run exponential regression, which you see me, you know, put my data in my list, doing L1, L2, Y1. When I run exponential regression, it doesn't give you your model in base E. For this particular problem, it gave it to us in base B, which was 0.738, right? In our base, we need E. We know E is around mm, like 2.7128, so on and so forth. So somehow I need to get this base over to base E. And let's take a look at how we do that, right? So here you see me actually writing out that exponential model, right? Here's my A value and here's my base. And I need to convert it to base E. So there's this little funky trick that we do in math. I think it's cool. I, I personally, I wouldn't have ever thought of it on my own, but now that I know how to do it, I, I see it. So we know that when you have e to the ln of x, these two pieces, they would cancel out, right? Because the base of our power and the base of our logarithm are the same, and it only leaves this exponent. So what we wind up doing, and let me just erase this here, is we're gonna take this expression, and I'm gonna write this as 731, 0.923, and then I'm going to put an E and an LN here, right? So again, keeping in mind, those would have canceled out, and I would make my argument, oops, 0.738 to the X. And it's a different way of rewriting this expression, all right? So those two expressions are the same. All right, let me erase some of the stuff I've junked up here. Because keep in mind, technically, and I'll use a different color here, this and this would cancel out, and that would get us right back here. Right, so we're taking this expression and just writing it a different way. And you might be thinking like, well, why would I do that? What's the, the point in that? Well, if you use logarithmic properties, you can bring that power, excuse me, that exponent down in front of the logarithm, right? We have the power property of logarithms, so I can move that down here. And that's what you see me doing in this step here, all right? And then after that, right, and I'll just, I'll write this out one more time. This becomes 731. 0.923 e to the x times ln of 0.738. Well, I can figure out what this number is on my calculator, right? And when I punch that into my calculator, that's where I'm getting this negative 0.304. And if I rewrite that a little bit, all of a sudden, I have an exponential model and you see that my base is e. All right, so if I want to turn any regular base, B, right, B being the one that your, your calculator gave you, if you ever want to turn that into a different or into a base E, you can use the little E to the LN trick. All right, and that comes up enough um, in math. So, so there, we, there we go. We've got our exponential model, base E, and we're all set with number 33. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.